welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make some banana and strawberry tartlets. I've got a sheet of short crust pastry and uh, I've got strawberry jam that I put underneath and if you want to use up some bana ripe bananas that you have this is something that you can do quickly and use up your ripe bananas. I've got about a banana and a half here sliced thinly to put on top. So what I've done was I've cut I've cut these rounds out of one sheet of, uh, puff, of a shortbread crust pastry. I've done two, four, six, there's eight, nine. I can get nine little tartlets out of one sheet, okay? That's it there. That, that's nine of them out of one sheet. That's plenty. If you want to make more, you'd have to cut another sheet of another pastry, okay? Now, what we need is about two to three tablespoons of jam. Use any jam you want. If you've got inside, strawberry, apricot, whatever you like. I've had some strawberry jam inside. I'm going to use a strawberry jam. Now, when we put the banana on, we brush it with some lemon juice and honey because it stops the banana from browning, the lemon juice. I mix it up with two tablespoons of honey and a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice. So that's just gets spread on the top. So what we do is, I've got my oven on for 350, and what we do is just sprinkle all this jam around these little tartlets. You don't want to put too much because it will spread all out, just enough in the center just like that, just go right round. And look, they are really nice for a change. I haven't done these for a long, long time. And I had some bananas. I thought, oh, well, I'll make my little strawberry and banana tart tart tartlets. So just spread that jam, just like that. Not too much, because it will all go over. Okay, there's about a couple of tablespoons of jam here. Uh, use any jam you want to. Any jam you want if you've got inside. Apricot jam is nice too. I have I like apricot jam. Our strawberry is always nice. So look, it's a good good table, two tablespoons of jam. And if, if it's too lumpy, you can put it in the microwave to loosen it up a bit, but or let's just leave it out a little bit and take the okay, that's all you need. You don't want to have too much because it'll just ooze out. Just enough like that. Plenty. Lovely. Okay. With a bit there. And as I said, I've got the... Look, they're only about uh, 10 to 15 minutes in the oven. You can see when that pastry goes nice and brown, okay? So now what we do is we put our, our sliced banana on top like that. First start off with four pieces first and then see if you want to put any more on. Just put those four pieces of banana like that. Like that, lovely. Why we put the lemon juice on top is to stop the banana from going brown. So that's why you need the lemon juice. It just helps it to keep its color. So you can either do more, if you've got ripe bananas, you can either use, I've got four pieces on each tartlet here. You want to put more, you use up your ripe bananas when you've got nothing to do with your ripe bananas, okay? Look, I've got four pieces on each tartlet. You can put more if you've got a, another piece. There you go. There, that one. And there, that one. Lovely. Just nice. I'll cut this in halves. Put that there. And put that there. That's just nice. Four pieces is just lovely on top of that. You can put more if you want to. Uh, I'm just going to brush it now with this lemon juice and honey. I've got about two tablespoons of honey and two tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm just going to brush it in like that, just on the top of that banana. It just stops it from going brown. Just brush it on the top like that, just a little bit. You don't want to have too much. My oven is on nice and 350. And just brush that there to stop that banana from going brown. It looks nice. Okay, just put that there like that. 
little bit of top. Now we're going to put a little knob of butter on the top. Just put that like that. Lovely. You don't even need a lot. You just need about a couple of tablespoons. Now I've got a little knob of butter that I want to put on the top. Just a little bit of butter, just on the top there like that. That seems to just melt it on the top and give it that little nice glow. Put a little bit of knob of butter on the top. Only a little bit, not too much. We only want a little knob just to put it on the top. That's it, just a little bit there. A little bit there. And look, we're only 15 to 10 to 15 minutes. You don't want to put them on too much. When they start going brown, you can see that they're going brown. Just put that there like that. Little knob of butter on top. Okay, that's it. Now, I am going to show you the ones I took out. Now, just stay ready to bake like that. Beautiful. You can serve them with a knob of cream when they come out. Uh, look, out of one sheet, I got two, four, six, nine little tartlets out of one short crust pastry. Look, all you have a little bit of jam, a little bit of banana, if you want to use up a ripe banana that you've got inside. And look, what my, I baked mine before. I baked a tray before and I put a little bit of knob of cream on the top and, and it looks lovely. There you go. There's your little tartlet with a little bit of cream on the top. You see the banana didn't go brown because it had that lemon juice on it. It kicks really well. It gives it that sort of finish with that honey and the little knob of butter on top. And look, that's just lovely like that. They're lovely little tartlets that you can just serve like that for a morning tea or whatever. The kids, I think the kids will like them. If you've got some ripe bananas left over, try these little banana and banana and strawberry tarts. Banana and strawberry tarts. Whatever jam you've got inside, you don't have to have strawberry jam if you've got apricot or any other kind with a bit of honey, a bit of lemon juice. It's only a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice and the banana. If you've got some ripe bananas you want to use, just you cut them up and put them. You can put it on another little bit if you want it, but four little pieces are plenty there like that. Just lovely. You can put a knob of cream on the top when they cool down and serve them like that. I, it's so easy and so quick with a, sh a sheet of short crust pastry. You've got nine little tablets, something different. I haven't done these for a long time and the kids are going to love them. So you choose up your ripe bananas and do these little tarts. They look lovely, they stay well. You serve them with, with cream or without cream, it doesn't matter. They've got that honey and that lemon glow over them so if that banana stays that colour, it doesn't go brown. That's why you put the lemon juice and the honey. Oh, and I've got my apron on again, Cargo Crew, uh, that gave me my apron. I'm wearing it again for them, which were very nice of them to give me, to print, embroider my name on the top and my little heart. So thank you again, I thank you again, okay? Well, anyhow, thank you for watching and have a great day. I hope you'll try them and enjoy them, okay? Bye.